Texas is a red state, but it's about to be flooded with green and gold. The annual pilgrimage from Fargo to Frisco is underway. WDAY News reporter Matt Henson is in Frisco. He joins us live with a popular tradition that is returning this year. Matt. Well, Danny Kirsten, it's been a very busy day here inside Toyota Stadium as crews have been busy painting the field. The Bison going with a gold end zone with green lettering. The Jackrabbits going with a checkered end zone. The big change here in Frisco this year, the thing thousands come to do here, party. As the Bison and fans arrive in Frisco. Against South Dakota State, I wouldn't miss it for my life. The field is close to being game ready for this historic championship game. I think it is something special this year. It's a legit rivalry game that you're moving to a neutral location, but yet the, all the fans are coming. And to add to the excitement, the traditional game day player walks that draw thousands are being brought back. They have not happened the past few seasons due to COVID. North Dakota State will go first at 10:15 along World Cup Way and Lamar Hunt Way. We'll drop the players uh, and the band will be lined up. And then South Dakota State will follow. Uh, again, North Dakota State fans do please let South Dakota kind of get in there once, once the, the Bison walk through. With kickoff two hours later, Toyota Stadium says the tailgate party will start two hours later on Sunday morning. 8 a.m. If you know 8 a.m. Uh, uh, as we say, uh, we'll be ready though. I know my guy Matt, uh, who's in control of the parking, has been talking with some, but uh, we'll be ready for everyone to get in when they when they get in. We we kind of know what we're doing. <laughs> For the NDSU Foundation, this will be the 10th Pep Fest they have put together. This year, it will be held in a new location here at the Grandscape and Colony. It's next door to the new Shield store. The free family-friendly event will be held Saturday from 3 to 6, which is earlier than usual. Some new features, an outdoor Ferris wheel, airbrush tattoos, and balloon animals. We definitely want to give um, Bison Nation new opportunities to gather, get together, um, and rally before the big game. Now, the gates will not open until 11 o'clock this year, two hours later than no usual. And more magnetometers have been added to help get the more than 17,000 fans expected to attend into the stadium a lot faster. And one other note, you may recall last year they asked fans not to storm the field. Nick Schaefer said this year they're going to put all of the railings back out so people can get on the field because he said he personally lifted dozens of fans onto the field himself last year and he was pretty sore for a few days. Reporting live from Toyota Stadium in Frisco, Matt Henson, WDOI News.